Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 91, the code base. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic on the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given a string which has digits, right? So we need to decode this string to alphabets, right? So we know the alphabet starts from A to Z. So here A represents 1 and Z represents 26, right? So which is nothing but A is the first alphabet, Z is the last alphabet in the alphabetical order. So we are pointing, we are mapping Z as 26, right? So we will be mapping each and every alphabet to their particular position in the alphabetical order. So we need to figure out how in how many ways I can decode this particular digit in alphabetical order, right? So for example, here we can consider 2 alone and 26 as 1, right? So here 2 represents B, 26 represents Z. So this is one way. Then we can consider 22 as 1 and 6 as separate 1, right? So here 22 represents B and 6 represented by F. So this is one way. So then we can decode this uh, digit separately, right? So here 2 represents B, 2 represents B again, and 6 represents F, right? This is one way. So for this particular example, we can form three different types of alphabetical decoding, right? So this is what we need to find. So we are going to use a dynamic programming approach to solve this problem. So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially we are going to create a dynamic programming array for n plus 1 length, right? So here we have 3 plus 1 will be 4. So we have four zeros here. So now we need to just assume if a string is empty or if we have only one digit, the number of ways to decode this one will be 1, right? So we are going to make the first index and zeroth index as 1 at the start. Right, so we are going to start the index iteration from the index 2 till n plus 1. So we are going to start from index 2 now. So first we are going to check the i minus 1 digit in the string. Right, so here i is 2, minus 1 will be 1. Right, so in the first index we have which means we are just considering this single digit, right? So we need to check whether this is between 1 and 9. So we need to check whether this particular digit is within 1 and 9, right? So this is valid. So we go back to the i minus 1 index, that is first index, right? In the dynamic programming array. We add this to the current index, that is i which means we are considering the previously calculated decoded base, right? So here we are going to get, so now we need to check whether we can have two digits can be formed till the current index, right? So we need to check that. So for that, we are going to have i minus 2 index. So we are going to start from i minus 2 index till the current index. If this is valid, that we will be getting two digit, right? So current index is two, right? So two minus two will be zero till the current index, that is two. I is two, right? So we need to consider all the string from zero to two. So we won't consider the second index value. We only consider till one, right? So here starting from zeroth index so here we have two till the first index we have another two so here we have two digit value when this is valid so we are going to check whether this is a valid one whether it lies between 10 and 26 so here 22 lies between 10 and 26 so we go back to the dynamic programming array so from here we go back two positions back because we are going to consider the decoding ways, the number of decoding ways for two digits 
formed till now right so i minus 2 will be 0 so we go to the 0th index and we take this value and add it here so 1 plus 1 will be 2 now so now the index is going to be 3 the i is going to be 3 so now we are going to check the i minus 1 index that is 2 right so in the second index we have 6 right so with, now we need to check whether 6 lies between 1 and 9 or not yes this is valid so we use the current index i so i minus 1 is 2 right so we go to the second index we take that value and add it to the current index i right so here we are going to get 2 now we need to check whether two digits can be formed before right so now we need to consider all the double digit characters right so for that we are going to start from i minus 2 index to current index that is 3 so i minus 2 will be 1 and current index is so starting from first index till second index we won't consider index 3 so we have 26 so yes 26 lies between 10 and 26 so this is valid so we visit the i minus 2 index in the dynamic programming array which will be the first index we need to add this one to the current index value the current index value is 2 plus 1 we are going to get 3 so we are going to store this 3 in the current index right so now we have done with all the characters in the string and we can just return the last value from the dynamic program array that is 3 right that's all the logicals now we will see the code before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future not to check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so first we have a base condition so if the first character itself is zero it starts with zero then that is not a valid string we return zero directly right so then we create the dynamic programming array for the length of n plus one then we are initializing the first that is the zeroth index and the first index as one at the start so first we need to check so we are going to start from the second index so we need to check whether that particular digit is within one and nine or not right so if that is valid we are going to consider the previously calculated decoded values decoded ways and we are going to add that to the current index so then we need to check whether we can form two digits in the string from the current index right so we are going two positions back and we are just checking that if that is valid if we have a two valid digits two valid characters we will go back two positions in in the dp array we add that value to the current index right then finally we will return the last index value where the number of ways will be calculated right that's all the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient so the time complexity will be order of n and space will be order of n as well thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future not to check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys